Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story You're Told. My audio is indeed on, right? Are you unmuted, Tess? Welcome, Tess. I am. Hello. <laughs> also known as Lindsay. How are you mm-hmm. doing? I know I asked you this earlier. How are you doing today? I am doing great. I've got a matcha latte and life Ooh. is good. So, yeah. How, awesome, how awesome. about yourself? <laughs> I finally got some some supplemental help vitamins for uh yeah. my sickness that i've been like having it's kind of just residual sinus issues so i'm feeling better so that's good yeah. you like my yeah. steampunk goggles jazz versus jazz hello right. friends in the chat gabrielle chelsea april elizabeth nancy drew walkthroughs is in the house rose wise <laughs> kelly jenny liz i love my nancy drew 147 amy c videos t eiley damien hello so many awesome faces that i recognize glad to see everyone we're going to be playing a game that apparently is a lot of people's favorites. You know, the more mm-hmm. I hear about it over time, people are settling on this one as their favorite game. I see a ton of Twitch streamers play this game. Where does it I mean, rank it for you? Classic. It's honest. It's iconic. It's such a. It's such a good game because <laughs> it's got. I mean, like it's got so many great characters in it, and yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Elizabeth A., yes, yes. Um, some herbal supplements to help clear up some of my sinus congestion mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. But yeah, this... Do you have uh, like a, a custom tea brew, like um, Minette or anything like that? <laughs> well, I was told to drink more echinacea, but I cannot <laughs> stand the flavor of it. <laughs> oh, no! Even if you like sweeten it or anything? You, I have no tried... Good. So do you remember back in the day when the sicknesses were going around before COVID, you and me were in the office and certain someone brought in like a whole bunch of tea for which I was grateful, yeah. but a lot of it was echinacea, which is excellent for if you're sick or trying to avoid being sick. And mm-hmm. I tried doctoring up that tea as much as I possibly <laughs> can in the many different ways it could be helped. And I, I can't stand the, the flavor, honestly. <laughs> Bad day. Anyways, this guy, uh, oh, I was thinking about trying to buy individual bulk ingredients to make the Minette tea, but I think the bulk websites that I'm or like looking at to order from, they want you to buy like a lot, and I just need oh. just a little sprinkling of each of those. There's a lot in that tea puzzle. What is there, like seven, there eight something ingredients for that? There's There's quite a lot. There's quite a lot. She had like an entire shelf. I don't know if you use all of those, but she had like an entire shelf of different things. Like, oh my word. Like you just have all so these. So much ingredients. Like how could you possibly have that many Individual ingredients too. It's like I'm, I, I thought I was um, 
I should have been ashamed by how many different tea packets I have in my cupboard. But they're already pre-mixed and so much easier to just, you know, just drop in a cup of water and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should start selling Manette tea on my website. Jazz versus jazz, that's not a bad idea, but I don't want to have to apply for any additional licensing when it comes to serving food through my Good website. <laughs> Shall we get into the game? Yes, let's what, do what? this. Look at my beautiful desktop wallpaper. Isn't that nice? It's so gorgeous. Hill. Okay. Beautiful. Can you see this okay, Tess? Lindsay? Sure can. Right. I'll do that. All right, new game. What do you think, senior? Welcome to my latest case, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, click on tutorial. I think. Tutorial. Uh, well, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to hear her talk though for a long time. Dear Hannah, here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. The only person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. That's the young woman who invited everyone. Actually, she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invited me. And I've always wanted to join forces with the Hardy boys. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another one of Lori's silly attempts to grab publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. Wish me luck. Love, Nancy. Okay. Well, Hang on, let me adjust that volume for you guys. I think I had the volume up a little bit higher because I was recording a different video. Um, and it's your walkthroughs. I am playing in full screen <clears throat> mode. I've got two monitors up. People, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I again am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray. I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. Your characters just seem so real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West, you are just awesome. And Tino Balducci. Only the most famous police detective in the country. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend, Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering where we're going. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because see, one day in 1903, his train, this train, was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was on board, and he was dead. As for Jake Hurley, he had disappeared from the face of the earth. Oh, and two more things. Before he disappeared, Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world. And the train he owned, this train, his wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. <laughs> She's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody just stay calm. No need to panic. I'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? <laughs> Iconic. I if I don't seem concerned, it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard is a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. How's the, uh, how's the volume now? It looks like it was getting still a little bit loud. Is it okay for you guys? Because um, I want our voices, Lindsay's and my voice, to be louder in case we have to talk over the game. I know a drinking game or a bingo game. I know perfect for this is this is a very iconic, <laughs> very iconic game. It totally is. 
I love it. So you think her disappearing like that is just some kind of publicity stunt? I just think she couldn't resist showing off in front of all of us minor celebrities. Minor? What was your name again? <laughs> Nancy Drew. You and I have actually met. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. You gave me some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. The game is still pretty loud. Okay, let me let me fix that. I want to get it right. Make a note here. Let's drop it down. <clears throat> Alright, feel free. Wait, do I have volume for you, Lindsay? That's a question. Ooh, no, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'll just be sure to... Because you will be really quiet compared to the game. You're coming from the same audio source as the game, actually. Oh, good point. Mm. If you want, I can just talk really loud. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Well, or not. just make sure not to talk during the characters. Because <laughs> they're louder. True. They're, Charlene is so loud. You remember me? No. <laughs> no. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? Psst. Nancy! Come here. Uh, excuse me for a second. Code word, get me out of here. I know. <laughs> Is this Jake and his oh. wife? Yes. From what I've read, Camille loved to sing and dance, even in death, apparently. Jake reportedly told people that after she died, he would sometimes see strange glowing lights outside the windows at night, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. He said he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. Uh, good point, Caitlin. We can adjust it in here. That way we keep Tess louder. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives. Hello, 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 hello. The only person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. Okay. Let's try that. Woo. All right. All right. Hardy boys. Hey, Nance. Yeah. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci, and I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. Did you talk to him? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how Balducci's our guy. He found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior, so just go back to the playground and stay out of the way. In case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around here. Can't we at least tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. ATAC? American teens against crime. We do a lot of undercover work for them. Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. Joe, <laughs> let it go. No. Nope. What Charlena had to say. <laughs> she thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. She's not the only one. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've ever wanted. Hmm. What about you, Nancy? What do you think? Wait, I'm gonna go with Frank. I kind of agree with yeah. Frank. You've gotta hmm. be kidding. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Looks like some kind of gemstone. Yeah, it looks like a lamp or a chandelier to me. But, <laughs> you know. Or it could be a really fancy gemstone. Yeah. Oh. Look at this old school phone. I want one like this. This is so cool. Love it. It kind of looks like a face. Engineer, what do you want? <laughs> Hello, I'm one of the passengers, and I just thought you should know that Laurie Gerard has disappeared. So? Uh, hip Hippogriff, yes, we sort of just started. Yes. So? I just thought you might want to call <laughs> the police or something. Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now, my orders are to get this train to Copper Gorge non-stop. And until Miss Gerard tells me otherwise, that's what I'm gonna do. But Lori may not even be on the train anymore. Look, Miss Gerard may not be a rocket scientist or anything, but even she knows better than to jump off a moving train. But... Now, if you'll <laughs> excuse me, I got me a train to run. All right. Cool. Ooh, drinks. Yeah. 
Let's make some coffee. Or not. Aww. Okay. Nice tea Aww. set. Hot water. I know. <laughs> a square and a duck. It looks like this thing opens up. But how? Well, they're open. hinges, so. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just break it. Pull it. Pull it open. Right. Where's the. The, uh. Pry bar. Looks like some sort of steam valve. Ooh, shall we? Turn it! <laughs> Red zone! Uh oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> Second chance. <laughs> Let's turn that down. All right. This door goes outside. Open. Opening it now would not be a good idea. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I, I love the old architecture on the screen. Like all the I'm going to turn your volume back up a little bit more. Sorry, guys. I keep fussing with this. Here we go. I just like to make sure the volume all good to go all the time. Yeah, once um, I set it... We're on senior detective. Senior mode for the win. All yeah, right. Yeah, which means we don't have a task list. <laughs> we don't have a task list. You guys got to keep track of what we're doing, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if we get stuck, please help. <laughs> Bellingham, Washington. No way. Oh. Flippy fins, Flippy. freshly canned salmon, fresh from a hand from the deep. Okay, so Wholesome. this is satisfying. The whole point of this little d d d ad is to identify this shape as a fin. In the strategy guide, it does not help you in the future to identify what the shape is later elsewhere. And it, as a first time player, when I first played this game, I had no idea what it was. Throughout the entirety huh. of the game. No idea. But that's supposed Did to be. Did you help. ever replay it and then go, oh. It took me several replays to finally come to that conclusion. I just ah. took um, handwritten notes and sketches of the puzzle that will be coming up. Sadie Crawford. Two left feet. LL. Whoa. Wait, should we must write have this been down? Not very good. Sorry? Oh, I was saying, must not have been a very good dancer with two left feet. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Sadie, I'm gonna write this down so I know what we did get in the yeah. game. Two Good left call. Two feet. Right. We are playing on senior mode because that's correct. It looks like there's did something this behind this painting, but I can't yeah. seem to move it. Yeah, and you're right. Uh, we did, uh, yeah, I guess we didn't really pay much attention. Live to live. Live Dunstan. Uh, yeah, we, we've seen the glowing lights outside of the sleeping cabin window before, but if you say it wasn't on the Twitch stream, we probably just didn't think to show it off when mm -hmm. we did. <laughs> okay. All right. I want to go back right here and look for snacks behind the bar, you know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was some good stuff. Delicious drink. Oh my gosh, that would freak me out in real life. I don't know if I could do Another that kind of gemstone. Topic. I'm like, there's always a logical explanation for Better everything. Better not mess with that puppy. Why not? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just had to. She just. <gasps> I love puzzles. Oh, these ones. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzles. Uh, right? No. It's oh, okay. goodbye, Hippogriff. Thank Hippogriff. you very much for joining. Have a good rest of your work shift. Thanks for stopping by. Yes. Even for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there aren't any interesting second chance moments with this game. I mean, they're all cut to black screens. Mm hmm. No, there's no fun messages kind of thing. Like, the good news is you didn't huh. die. The bad news is you're You don't totally get rewarded for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. And the second chance has always used to freak me out, like, when I was younger playing these things. Because it was like, 
like you can always you can always restart after doing a second chance but initially you're like oh no we've killed nancy <laughs> it freaks you out because some of them are so startling <laughs> oops ah there you go uh, um... There! Wow! Left pickaxe and lamp with Buell for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? And nobody else fiddled around with this puzzle to find this clue? This is an ancient piece of paper. <laughs> Apparently, no one thought it was worth messing with. Same. <laughs> this must have been the sleeping car. I want to go inside the sleeping I... quarters. I know. Have you ever been on a train like this before? Not like this. I've been on a modern train. You know, taking a trip down one state below. Well, yeah. you guys know. I, I, yeah, from Washington to Oregon. And then I also okay. went north, too. But nothing like this. I've never had it been in a sleeping car. Yeah. Or an old school no, train so like this. Exciting. I need right? four numbers to unlock this. And there's, what, 10,000 possible combinations? <sighs> Guessing could take me a while. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna draw the angles of these. Do, 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 do. And like that. We're being good detectives and actually taking handwritten notes because Yay. we don't have a task list. I don't know if it was Amtrak. It could have been. Which quote are you guys going to get today? Amy C has just started that trend. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what a, we got. A tale of two dolls. Ill-tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. Alice said. Oh, I'm not poeming. I'm not doing a very good job poeming. <laughs> no, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two-part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. A two-part word, mother. So, mama? Ah. Mama. Okay, so that's how it went. Okay. Cool. Uh, Ed, na, says mama. Alice is tired. Mm hmm. Edna has an ill temper. Edna the terrible. Ooh, okay, first quote is for Amy. The ghosts are just what happens when guilty people let their imaginations run wild from <gasps> Rentaro. Amy, are you guilty of something? No, I'm just Time kidding. to confess. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Montgomery has one. There's always a logical explanation for everything from Jeff Akers. I just said that. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Really? When I say when I said yeah, uh, so there's log logical explanation for everything. When we were talking oh. <laughs> about the bells. Oh boy, exploring room. Hey, come on over here. No. Hi, you're that Nancy person. How you doing? John Gray. I'm glad you identify me as a person. That's great. I know. <laughs> I'm not a ghost. You look pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. Right now I'm taking time-lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. Hmm. That... That... Ooh, I'm getting a message. Or a phone call. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you saying that Camille's ghost kidnapped Lori? What to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions in local electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. That's my working theory, at least. Props to voice actors who have to say a whole string of complicated sounding syllables like this without tripping up. Mm -hmm. Sounding like they totally meant it from the beginning. <laughs> like, Believable. Yeah. It's a good actor. That's very interesting. It's all very scientific. But the fact is, Lori's missing. And I, for one, am doing everything in my power to find her. The vibes I'm getting make me think she could be in serious trouble. 
Charlena Purcell thinks Laurie is just playing some kind of joke on us. Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. End of comment. What do you think of Tino Balducci? I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be a great cop. Tough to perform under that kind of pressure. Is Lori a friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course, like everyone else who reads the tabloids. It doesn't appear that anyone aboard this train is her friend. Maybe she planned it that way. You mean so we'd concentrate all our efforts on finding Jake Hurley? Possible, although she really doesn't strike me as being the planning type. Planning type. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. Hey, Lindsay, how do you feel like taking over for just a few minutes while I return a, a phone call? Sure. You want to try? Let's see if I can't get you to get you to have uh, control here. All ah. right. How about it? I'm going to I'm going to step Why away, you guys. You like... Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, go for it. Go for it. OK, I'm going to let Lindsay take over for just a couple minutes. I got to make a phone call in, in real life and I'll be right back. All right, do you have control? Let me click around. You... I have control, it looks like. All right, I will be right back, ah. you guys. All right. Meanwhile, we will explore. I'll try. <laughs> All right, let's go look around here. I don't know about you guys. I feel like John Gray and Richard Topham from um, Secret of the Old Clock, I feel like they'd get along really well. This looks like know. some sort of game. Uh, let's click the button. All right. Nice. Cool. Well, that was fun. So this is super cool. Um, we'll be able to do that a little bit later, I think. Oh, wait, unless, can we do this? Nope. Apparently not. That's okay. We can come back to look at that. <laughs> um, if I can... Get the mouse to turn around any way that we can. Can we get? Oh, there we go. Okay. I see now. Uh, um, Agarbo Gabrino, I have sort of naturally curly, wavy hair. Some of it I have to like actually scrunch up kind of thing when it's drying. But um, yes, it is more naturally, but it's like, it's like naturally poofy, like right up at the front. The rest of it is like wavy and then like in the front kind of thing. So I have to try to work to sort of control what that. What should I but... play? I don't know. What should we play here, guys? Oh, oh no. Don't do that, please. <laughs> Those microphones I set up over there are very sensitive. You just about took out my eardrums. <laughs> Whoop. You okay, can play well, that I thing guess... when I'm done. I'll let you know when that is, all right? Okay. Good to know, good to know. So maybe we won't play that anymore. But. Uh, um, Nancy Drew walkthroughs. One of the coolest Nancy Drew items that I own. I don't know. I think it would have to be between the Waverly Academy sweatshirt um, or the, the Nancy Drew game covers blanket. Both of those are great because they're warm and comfortable. And with the sweatshirt, like, you, you feel kind of like you got it from, like, the actual label of the Academy. So it's kind of fun. But, <gasps> yay, clean us back! Hooray! It's locked. Aw. All right. Hello, Kalina! Welcome back! Hello, sorry about that. Hey, did you crash the train yet? Not yet, but we did basically take out John Gray's ear, like, eardrums. Awesome! So <laughs> That's progress! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, did we learn any more clues that I have to write down for us, or are we good? Nope. Okay. Uh, we looked at the Camp Town race thingy and pressed the button and nothing happened. So, we didn't really do very much. <laughs> so, yep. Do you want to take over, or do you want... Uh, you go ahead and take over. I'm going to catch up on chat for just a minute. Awesome. Thomasina O'Neill. Hmm. Can we take this? We take oh, this. So, so, Thomasina... Oh yeah, here we go. Cena O'Neill is missing a lock of hair and it's blue. Ugh. Looks like Camille was teaching herself how to play the piano. Okay, when it comes to the piano puzzle, I'm leaving that up to you because you're better musically inclined than I am. Oh boy. Alright, let's see. 
I, can I take like a? Yeah, no, I'll take. That. Okay. Well, I mean, you could take a phone <laughs> picture. You know. <laughs> Woo! Because that's that really quick. that's it's one way we take notes in modern day land. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. That's good. We got that for later. Now, you click on this thing. No. Okay. Cool. So, this it's thing is locked. locked. It's but locked. I, I just want to look at the picture. Fine. All right. Let's see. Looks let's like look some kind of here. sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. Awful <sighs> Ursula. We know what she looks like. She's mad. <clears throat> okay, good to know, good to know. This also looks kind of like a game board. Like you could move pieces around the tiles up at the top. It but. does, it totally does. <laughs> I wonder what's under here, and what the deal is with those weird-looking bolts. Looks That's like a great... I need a special tool. We have a special tool? We have a pencil! Looks like I need a special tool. <laughs> Rat. Alright, let's take a look back over here. Mm. Uh, Lindsay, is, is your hair naturally curly or wavy like that? Um, so parts of it, it's like, it's naturally wavy, but, but like up at the Hello? front, it's Nancy. like... Hello? Nancy! Hi, it's me! So. Hi, Bess. And me. Hey, George, what's up? What's up? You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. This is torture, Nancy. I'm dying of curiosity here. Bess, just calm down. Oh, what? You're not just as curious as I am. She's the one who insisted we call you Nancy. Only because you're driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? How do you think the Hardy boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, that is so not true. I could care less what Laurie Gerard is wearing. So come on, Nancy. You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where. So dish already, would ya? Bess, calm down. <laughs> Look what you did. You got paint in my hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, actually, that looks kind of cool. Nice try, Bess. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself. George, I kid you not. You should seriously think about doing some major highlights in that color. <laughs> what color is it? Adobe beige. Nice try, Bess. What color do you think on, it Nan? is? Do you think it's something like pink or mauve or um, maybe even a purple? What color is Bess's room? Adobe beige. I think she's lying about Adobe beige. <laughs> <laughs> I like she's trying to be so nice. <laughs> I know. Our hostess has disappeared. Bye, Hugh. What do you mean? Thanks I for mean, saying the hi. train went into a tunnel. Yeah, Everything so went hard. dark. And when the train came out of the tunnel, no lorry. She just disappeared. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. My thoughts, <laughs> exactly. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy across the hall just happened to have a camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. <laughs> Only it turns out she faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. So what else is going on? Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died and he eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Whoa, spooky. Have any theories? Hmm. Not yet, but the train is also rumored to be haunted by his dead wife. Hmm. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. A pattern, maybe? Best. Do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy, okay? <laughs> Has either of you been to Copper Gorge, Colorado? Never heard of the place. Why? Well, that's where the train I'm on is headed. Apparently Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train? Ew, creepy. 
John Gray has set up a bunch of equipment in Camille's train car in hopes of documenting distortions in the electromagnetic field caused by her residual energy. <laughs> Good He's night. looking for Camille's ghost. Don't you ever watch him on TV? Just because I watch him doesn't mean I understand him. Catch you later. Remember, when in doubt, call. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I it. don't know if Lori's based on anyone specific, but the general stereotype of celebrity debutantes, you know, daughters of daddies who have a lot of money, businesses, mm -hmm. business money. Here. Hey, Nancy, right? Hey. Yep. Okay. Quite the intro. That's right. Nancy Drew. Amateur detective, huh? Never thought about becoming a real detective? You know, like <laughs> me? <laughs> okay. You mean become a police detective? No, I never have. It's a great job, you know. I love it. You, uh, heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? Tell me about them. <laughs> Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days. FBI had no idea who the perps were. But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, I single-handedly made the collar. <laughs> Do you think he would appreciate a Junior Park Ranger pin on his collar? Thank you. Do you think he would appreciate a Junior Park Ranger pin on his collar? Maybe by Rika <laughs> Cub Designs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they stopped because you accidentally rear-ended them. You heard wrong. You see, Nancy, <laughs> when somebody does something really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody else does is try to tear them down. Reporters, late-night comedians, even some of my fellow officers. All have been spreading vicious lies about me. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. But anyway, oh. you should look around in here. Lots of interesting stuff. This was Jake's private car, you know. <clears throat> Pretty snazzy private car. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Where do you think it came from? Probably been lying there for a hundred years. May have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. May I see it? Sure. In fact, here, keep it. Wear it around your neck or something. That way, when people ask you where you got it, you can tell them Tino Balducci gave this it This ugly to thing? You. Oh, the yeah. Tino Balducci. <laughs> wow. Me. Tino Balducci, all right. Oh, thank you. What else can I do for you? <laughs> oh, goodness. I like this sound. I'm so so, oh. what do you think happened to Lori? Well, she could have been kidnapped, she could have been tossed off the train, she could be hiding from us. But I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. You get those <laughs> facts. <laughs> Spoon, I know, right? <gasps> the Tuna Body gave us when this When do you think that thing. will be? I'll know the facts when I know the facts. The truth can't be rushed, you know. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena yeah. Purcell? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? Uh, okay. You don't like her? She's a suspect. I can't stand those sappy books she writes. And seeing as I said as much during an interview on national TV once, it's a pretty safe bet she doesn't like me. Okay. <laughs> Have you talked to John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I'd talk to him would be to arrest him for fraud. It's been great talking to you. Speaking of. Not a problem. <laughs> Fraud. Notice his notebook. It's been reused. That art design has been reused by uh, the artists in the past for several Nancy Drew games. Yeah. It was used in the final scene, Treasure in the Royal Tower, probably a few more. Huh. Wonder what Jake used this for. Carson Carbide. Keep it. Take all the stuff. We need the axe and that thing and the shovel and Clearly. the cage. Yeah, we should just yeah. take them. These are his uh, <laughs> gold mining panning equipments. Wait, 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 wait. Did what is it called? A, a on... slew? Another gemstone. Oh. Take it. So he did find treasures. Not necessarily Ooh. gold, but precious stones. Mm-hmm. 
I like that bookshelf. I know. I was like, I want to read the books. <laughs> Periodic table. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, hang on. Let me take a screenshot. Good point. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Excellent. You mean you don't want to handwrite this entire table in your notes, Lena? No. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Oh. There we go. Okay, so this one is Amethyst. Um, got Citrine. Tiger's, tiger's eye. eye. Eye of the tiger. Zircon. It's yellow. Olivine. Oh, Olivine. I don't know. Garnet. Garnet. Tourmaline. Very nice. pretty. Nice. A gorgeous aquamarine, emerald, another garnet, and peridot, and conundrum, random, those things, <laughs> rubies, sapphires, more zircon. Is that it? Garbarino, we have lives to live, we got puzzles <laughs> to solve. Looks like an old fashioned oh, cigar box. <laughs> Wonder why it's locked. A G. Ooh. That's the reset button. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, A G, good to know, good to know. Alright, so we gotta figure out what A G is. Ooh, picture. Got it. Hagar. Hang on, I gotta write this down. Camille with Hagar Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. Chantilly. Whenever I hear the word Chantilly, I think about frosting. <laughs> okay, so the dude with overalls, bears. and she's got a dress with braids, and there you go. Got it. Okay, move along. Excellent. I purple back up. Can you look in here? I'll back again. No. Right. Whoa! <gasps> Ooh, I see a puzzle. Where? Oh, there. <gasps> okay. Right here on the yeah. table. <laughs> it's really obvious. Leaping lizards. <laughs> and the top hat. Nancy should just take that top hat. For Jake Hurley, obviously. Must be Jake's insignia. <gasps> Have you <laughs> ever done wax seals with this stamp? This kind of stamp before? I have, like, one kind of thing. And it only mediocrely worked because I didn't do the wax, the wax right, but oh. it was still cool, though. Have you? Plenty of times. Like, um, whenever I hosted parties or even for, like, our wedding invitations, I would seal, or even, like, birthday cards. I will uh, Eliza I'll melt some Sandberger. wax, colored wax, uh, pour it and stamp it with uh, my last initial. Oh, I also cool. got one... Uh, that says thank you on it, so I can uh, write little thank you stamps on it. It's, it's really fun. I love doing it, it. It always looks so cool, like you're getting something from like the 1800s or something, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, hey, what? Uh, Camille called this one Eliza Sandburger. Yeah. Eliza Sandburger. What is this description for the price of $300.73? Wow! That's an expensive doll. Red it's ribbon. Like Priceless. <laughs> um, decorative red ribbon. That's all it says. Okay, sure. There you go. All right. All right. Cool. So let me back up. Can you look at these? No. Hey, wait. Come back here. Uh, oh, the wait. Nerdy Gate Gamer. Another gemstone. I have not read it yet. I do own the book. It's a Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys super mystery book called Mystery Train. Mm. Um, this game was loosely based off of that book. Um, I was going to do a book to game comparison, but I haven't. Oh, you can hear the baby crying. Oh. I think he's good. Wow. All right, puzzle. Here he's we go. You go ahead. I think he's getting hangry. It's okay. Grandma's, grandma's getting him some food. He's like, dinner, please! <laughs> yeah. You liked the book, Nerdy Geek Gamer? I totally had a cheeseburger today, you guys. 
Was it good? It was amazing. Uh, I think my... I, I still have dill pickle breath, actually. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Cheeseburger. Uh, <laughs> that is one of the most iconic lines from any Nancy Drew game. I love it. Okay, wait. Oh, no, wait, I... my kids are playing upstairs. They like to scream in the yell. They're fine. <laughs> I can tell what kind of scream that is. <laughs> oh, they're rolling cars across the floor. Oh. T. Eiley, you just had a cheeseburger. Was it delicious? Was it everything you ever hoped and dreamed it would be? I hope so. I love cheeseburgers. Um, Amy C, that's a long explanation. Um, and I'm actually working on editing a video there. that all done. That talks about how how her interactive picked or decided on the next game back in the day. And it involves talking about how the games were either based on books, loosely based on books, inspired by the books, were created from scratch with their the design team's own ideas. So it's 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 a long editing process. I might have to refilm some things. An old scale. Strange. It seems to be built into the wall. So I don't know if I should Those run with it or like the ones I saw refilm. in sampler. I'll make a note to myself to revisit that, because I've got several videos that are editing right now. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I might get into trouble for posting that video, but I, 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 I'm not doing anything wrong by the content I'm saying, because it's all stuff that's already been said. I'm only reiterating things that are still public on her interactive site. I'm just grouping all of the information together into one video so you'd have a clear understanding. All oh, right. Good call. So, what are we looking for? We we got one slug, right? Yeah, we got one from the Tino Balducci. Wow. So, <laughs> we should be grateful that we got to be in his presence at all, frankly. Quiet. I wonder why that's there. Oh, it's a sleeper car. It's a sleeper <laughs> that's car. Why. <laughs> Are we supposed to be calling someone? Oh, maybe we should talk to the Hardy Boys again. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I suppose they'd want to be filled in on all the going on. Better not on mess with that, that puppy. Ah, no. cook them. We already <laughs> that did that. <laughs> you don't want another <laughs> the same thing. Chaz versus Jazz, <laughs> you are most welcome. You appreciate me skirting the edges of the NDA for us. <laughs> I mean, I'm not breaking NDA by what I have to say about it, because it's all stuff that's been said. And I will quote yes. all the resources in the description of that video just for pos just for the safety's sake. What are you working on? <laughs> I'm writing my next book. I'm on a deadline, so until I write those two most wonderful <clears throat> of all three-letter words, the end, everywhere I go, my laptop goes, and every chance I get, I write. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Boulet, who died about a year after they were married. They were only married for a year? That's really sad. When did he buy this train? Sometime in the 1870s, he decided to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom-built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. So he went west and became a miner? All anyone knows for sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. He refused to say how he'd come by them, which of course led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated and its location quite unknown. The others on the train, John Gray and that police detective, do you know them very well? I don't know them at all. 
Needless to say, I don't watch television, so I've never even seen Mr. Gray before. Although I do know that his profession, if you can call it that, is rife with crackpots. As for Mr. Balducci, from what I've read, his success in solving those robberies was less a matter of talent and more a matter of being in the right place at precisely the right time. Um, Nerdy Geek Gamer, here's how I would take a guess. Why would an heir to a British aristocratic family decide to be a miner? My guess is that he wanted to seek um, adventure and success all on his own. And that was getting pretty close. What was the gold rush again? The American gold oh. rush? California gold rush? Alaskan gold rush? Ooh. Like mid-1800s, yeah, I feel this like. Is she just mentioned 1870s. <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby, Chaz versus Jazz. Exactly. <laughs> See, I'd be all up for an adventure. I'd take a train. I'd, I would own a train, by a private train, and hire a conductor to drive it or engineer to drive it and then go on adventures, just treasure hunting. Who wouldn't want yeah, a treasure yeah, hunt? That's exactly. your career. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> hmm. Great. And also, I totally agree, Amy Lucio, Nancy Drew soundtracks rock in other words you don't think he deserves all the attention he's getting no you and those two boy scouts you're with would make better detectives is that all dear no in mm. fact we have why one more why do you think Lori invited you on this trip <laughs> no doubt because i'm such an authority on life in the old west and because i'm so good at using old information to unearth new information my knack for research is well it's a gift you are so talented <laughs> These people on this train are so humble. Well, I'll let you, know. you go. Let me know if you run across anything juicy. So no treasure for you. No fame and fortune <laughs> for you. You just want gossip. Okay. <laughs> sure. She's bored. <laughs> My boy. What have you got? Do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? Hi, Emily. It's certainly possible. From the way she talked, it didn't sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Well, whether Lori disappeared by force or by choice, what we've got to do now is find her. Absolutely. Talk Don't to you later. You know where to find us. Yeah, these characters, the animation and modeling for these characters was outsourced to another company. Actually, the first 16, 15, 16, 16 games were outsourced characters. That's called the engineer. Hi. Mm -hmm. Is this Miss Gerard? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is Lori. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this. All right, fine. <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> what do we got? We got it here. Um, have we found? Wait a minute. Have we found the screwdriver yet? Um, I don't know that we have. Not that I know of. What if we take? Oh, a... if... oh wait. Oh. We need to know what the the number for an eagle is. Oh, and that the other thing? Square plus duck. <laughs> Which is a math equation I never thought I'd ever have to solve. <laughs> what is square plus duck, if you don't mind? The answer is orange. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Nancy Drew game is logic. Taken out of context, <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> Which I guess most things taken out of context are going to be <laughs> really strange. <laughs> uh, yeah, Taya Ensley, I totally agree. This is... I like this model of Frank and Joe a lot. Because it's classic. It is classic. It's the first Hardy Boys modeling we've seen in the Nancy Drew game, so it really <laughs> stuck with people. Oh, okay. this is the one you don't know that one. Um, Tamara, thank you for that bit of history. The American Gold Rush started about 1848 and lasted to about the Dust Bowl in the 1930s. Wait, that that's a long? It's a long right. duration, yeah. Yeah. I thought it would have ended, like, way before that. Lyric Queen, I don't know if there were different animators. There might have been different animators. I'd have to look it up a little bit. Because the style is completely different. 
of that. Liv, even in context, still a little bizarre. I know. <laughs> True. <laughs> I know. It's it's like it's like how Disney does it when they take something and uh, like an original story and then they romanticize it. There are some things that are still a little bit odd. <clears throat> you know, talking animals, for example. But in the Nancy Drew games, too, in an effort to make more puzzles, um, in real life there aren't like nearly as many puzzles to solve, just set up for you to go. So creating some context and some um, interesting steps along the way makes for a really fun engagement. And yes, you think think about it in real life, it's kind of wacky. I mean, props and effort to the... Uh, the team who tried to incorporate it as realistically as possible. Teddy Eberhart. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, What's unique about Teddy? Okay. Thank you for giving the doll we call him a home from Krollmeister. You know. Okay. There's nothing special about him. <laughs> okay. Maybe does his, does his clothes match the box or something? Eh? Rat. Those were okay, expensive well. dolls. I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Even by today's standards, like, I imagine that money would have been, like, even ooh, way ooh, more, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. A slug. Can you look at a thing? Yay! Aha! A and little book of samplers. That is a sampler. Okay. Beautiful. You oh, wait. turn the page? This is old. Oh. Turn the Turn the Oh, there page. we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, those have meanings. An oh. apple symbolizes love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hang on, let me take a picture of this. It might come in handy later. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and a squirrel okay. symbolizes mischief. Well, squirrel is mischief. A pineapple it symbolizes hospitality. Good to know. Yeah, and you see, that is true. I've seen many overlaps of the animation pretty much traced over itself through... Disney movies. Okay, there was something right behind that box. Did you get it? That trunk? Did I get it? Ah, I see it. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe? Tiny hotspot? Uh, yeah. uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> it was like really small. Whoa. Did, Are those uh, packing peanuts? Packing peanuts. He's it messy. Basically, Sarah oh. caught a germ so new it made one of her pretty green eyes turn blue. Oh. Blue, green eye. Got it. Okay. Whoa. Poor sickly Sarah. Hello, Kimmy Woohoo! Hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the stream! Sup? <laughs> Sup? I won't keep okay. you any longer. Pleasure talking to you. <laughs> A very enriching conversation. Oh, yes. Had. <laughs> okay, so did you solve the Camptown races thing? We did not. No, let's try it now. Can, you, can that be done? Oh, wind it up with the key. There you go. Yeah. Does it wind? No, I guess we have no purpose doing this then. Rats. Well, we hmm. can still press buttons, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, but now we have so... multiple slugs, so that's cool. That's yeah, cool. let's go fiddle around with that and see what we... Oh, wait. Ooh, ooh, yes, ooh. yes. What was this? Um... Yeah. Wait. The, the, the car. The, the train car. Owl yeah. cherries. Owl is worth seven. Yeah, take a picture of this. And cherries is worth ten. Okay, so we need to get to those numbers, I guess. Eagle is worth two. Oh wait, hang on. Mm -hmm. Square is four. Duck. Where's the duck? Uh, duck is. It is... One? Oh, I think so. Yes, right there. Okay, so to open that train card, do you think we have to type or get seven and? Mm, I think so. All right, let's see. So, oh wait, 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 wait! Go back to the Camptown what? Races. Camptown Races. Yeah. All right. Uh, someone's oh, suggesting yeah, yeah. to click on it first, and maybe that'll activate the ability to wind it up. I forget. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, click on the horse. There you go. Okay, now click on the winding key. Oh. Okay. Get ready okay. to jump. This might be. Darn. Sorry. <laughs> I think you might have to do this. So okay, because there's a little bit of a... <laughs> sure, sure, I'll take over. Oops. 
Oh, what the stress? The pressure. You got this. Got this place. Don't mess it up. I remember ever playing this song for like elementary school? Like we, we like in band or like on a xylophone. Yeah. Or the other instruments yeah. that look like xylophones that are called something different. I can never remember what they're called. It was like Glockenspiel and the Rimba, Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. All the I did it. Hey, what do we got? What's in here? The music to Camptown Races. Oh, and these. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Hang on. Let we me should... write that down so I can. Well, just in case. Yeah. Gag. E. <laughs> D. Fed. See, got Please. it. Okay. You want to take over and uh, go back to the slug weight scale thing? See if we can open a. Let's car? do it. We might have We're to call it, try. A, call it a day here soon, too. All right. So we'll just do this. If we can get there Maybe. without my mouse glitching. Without my mouse glitching. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. All right, run! It's locked. Run down. What? Yes, that is Wait, the owl cherry right? door. So that is the correct numbers that we're supposed to get on the scale. Yay! Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. So put that on there, and then put the three on. Oh, the other side. Oops. <laughs> Yay! That square Yay! And that deck look very familiar. It sure do. <laughs> So I think we're Get out of here! <laughs> come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, come on! Okay, let's go in the door. Ooh, Did things to look at. All the things. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. I love this room. The map room. I'll look at this to... blank table. There we go. Yeah, a drafting table. Ooh, another slug! Yay! <laughs> That's ours now. Nope, okay. And just use Tino as a battering ram for the door instead. <laughs> exactly. I mean, his head is hard enough for it. <laughs> silver. Oh. What do all those colors have to do with silver? Silver. Oh, but that was what we saw before. So, Orange. Yeah, yeah. Blue. Green. Red. Purple. Purple. Yellow. Hello. Okay. Got it. Excellent. All right. I'll do that. I don't think we can take anything else from here. Nope. Okay. Back out. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. <laughs> I'm the map. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Looks like to make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, amethyst, zircon. Those are all gemstones. I think. Thirsty nose. You know. <laughs> I just like, I want to know where her secret backpack is to carry all these things. By the way, she's like holding all these in her hand as she's walking down the hall. We were like, where are you going with those? Really old looking blueprints. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, Naughty Tina? Ah, okay. Naughty Tina has a cracked skull? Oh my gosh. She should see a doctor about that. And Naughty Tina's face. Tears continued unabated for hours. I told her I'd Aww. order another as soon as we reached Copper Gorge. Aww. That's so sweet. Any of these? Nope. Alright. That's right, cool. ABC Videos. Nancy Drew has a Mary Poppins bag. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> All right. Creepy looking things. No, but they're cool. Turn the thing. They oh, are. wait. Quick. Quick. There we go. Oh, you're just there. All right. We go over here. According to that to diagram that. I found, Whoa. those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. Well, this, this is what got me so confused as a kid. This is where a gemstone goes. It's like, I know that's a starfish, a sea star. <laughs> but aside from that... Woo! 
The animation is kind of fun for this too. That's a I need to find the gemstone that goes here. Alright. We can just that. I had no idea ah. what that was. WD Macy, I have that game on my bookshelf back here. I'm intending to play it soon. The Sherlock Holmes Mystery of the Mummy. I love that game. I've only played it once, though, in my life. So I was gonna try to get it installed and try and see if it'll work and play it again. Ooh. That is a hoof. These feel like, di like different parts of animals, it looks like. Okay, back to the beginning. All right. Yeah. Cool. More to explore. Now we know what all those are. And can we go? Mm. Here? Wonder what's Maybe supposed to go here. Blue blueprints. Yes. Oh, we can't. <laughs> <No. laughs> <Rack. laughs> okay, well, let's see. Go this way. Go in this door. Hmm. Nerdy Geek Gamer, I've yet to look at Wizard of Kittens, Nancy Drew's Sims creation of that. I've seen her other ones, but not that one. Ooh. Okay, so, last right. Okay. There are a lot of Sherlock Holmes games. I've got a whole bunch in my uh, good old games account uh, that I intend to play. I started playing Hounds, Hounds of the Baskerville? No, Hound of the Baskervilles. They changed the title from the original short story to accommodate the game. Um, it's a hidden object game, but it's actually cleverly well done in puzzles and gameplay. Um, if you are really into hidden object games, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit darker, a little bit gorier, some disturbing scenes, but not adult rated content. It's, I'd say it's teen content. So give that a try. Maybe take a look at my video that I created playing it. Um, and I'm not much of a hidden object person, so I can say that it was actually pretty fun. Lori? Oh my gosh! I never thought <laughs> you'd be the one to find me! No offense! Uh, Nadine? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Well, as you can see, I wasn't really spirited away by ghosts or anything. That bookshelf in the dining car, you step on this thing in the floor in there, and it slides open! I practiced disappearing for weeks. Wow. So it was just all for show? Well, not entirely. See, here's the deal. My dad wound up with this train when he bought out Noram shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until finally, here we are, on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. Wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think you were going to explain why you kidnapped yourself. Oh, right. Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? Everything was just the way it was when Jake disappeared. Dusty. Except I also found this. Ooh. It's a letter that Jake wrote in 1901 to his niece back east. He was real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. You want me to have it? Why? Because you found me! See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is, is on this train. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train too, which kind of creeps me out. But the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. How do you know this Ruth person didn't find the mine decades ago? Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her nutty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you want me to try to figure out where the mine is? Uh-huh. As for the other people on board, 
If you want to show them that letter, go ahead. It's totally up to you. We're going to Copper Gorge because that's where Jake buried Camille, so I figured his mine might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know and I'll have the engineer take us there. And he'll turn this train right around. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just take this truck and just go, you know, wherever they say to go. If there's no tracks, okay, I'll ask my dad to build some. And then he can, like, build us a couple other things along the way, so we can stop for snacks. How come like, you didn't try to find the mine yourself? <laughs> maybe I did. Or maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. And snacks. <laughs> I love it. How well do you know your guests? Well, I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Hardy. Frank and Joe Hardy. Whatever. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. For real? What about Tino Balducci? I met Tino right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing <laughs> eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> How well do you know Charlene Purcell? I just know her from her books, which are so good. In fact, I just started reading her latest one, The Moon Tells No Lies. This isn't telling truth See, either. what I really, really like to do is write <laughs> romance novels. Everybody who knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. And? She hated them. <laughs> okay, well, you know. I'll come back later. Keep me posted. Okay, actually, this is an excellent spot to leave as a cliffhanger because we've got an entirely new lead. Um, we're going to go ahead and save our game and call it a day and resume this next week. I think we made quite a bit of progress for being in an opening start to the game. I'm kind of shocked, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't got, think we'd get to this point. We got so far on senior mode, too. Well, I guess there wasn't as much dialogue with all the characters up front as we thought, or at least I thought. Oh. Yeah. doesn't tell. <laughs> the moon tells no <laughs> lies. Guys, how fun is it just to make up your own book titles that just sound so, I don't want to say generic, but so unspecific. Yes. Yeah, it's like, yeah, fortune cookie fortunes. You know, it's mm -hmm. like just general enough that they can apply to pretty much anyone. But, you know, with those titles, I know the moon tells no lies. Yeah. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, what should we save our game as? Mm, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so amusing? <laughs> He's just such a ridiculous character and I love it so much. Uh, love it. Like, okay. Just let me kidnap myself and then you guys are just going to find me, but don't even worry about it because this is totally normal. <laughs> like, oh my word. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, thanks, you guys, for hanging out, for joining. I will see you guys next week at this same time. I'm so used to, like, giving more announcements and a shout-out and farewells and all these kind of things. But it's just nice to be able to say, bye, I'll miss you. Yeah. I'll see you next week. <laughs> bye, <Yeah>. everyone. <laughs> okay. Bye. Where's my video? Here's it. Just on.